Music lives forever. It's stronger than death, stronger than time. Its strength holds you together when nothing else can. Wow. Jennifer Donnelly. In Revolution. Mm. That's powerful stuff. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, you're here. <laughs> okay, so everybody has a memory of a song that's made an impact on their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, songs have meant so much to us that we've made our whole life, you know, around it. What were we thinking? I don't know. I wouldn't have it any other way, actually. Yeah. And if you are already um, a member, a subscriber on our channel, we thank you. Mm -hmm. And if you are, you already know a bunch of Stowe Good songs. However, today's episode is not about our songs. No. On today's episode, we are going to share some songs that were submitted by the Stowe Good community. I'm Stowe Daly. And I'm Karen Taylor Good. Together, we are Stowe Good. And we're delighted to have you here with us today. Uh, we invite you, if you have not already, to become a subscriber to our channel. It's free, and it's free to you, and it really helps us a lot. So um, thanks for doing that. Yes, thank you. So, you know, a while back, we put a call out to our Stowe Good community, mm -hmm. which since yesterday, she came up with a great name for y'all. The Stogos. <laughs> oh, I love it. That was really good. So we put a call out to the Stogos and we asked, please um, submit non-Stogood songs that have made a difference in your life. Songs that have touched you, inspired you, made you happy, or helped you grieve, mm -hmm. um, or special songs that you grew up with. Yeah, and the responses from you guys was great. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much, and keep keep them coming. Uh, you know, some of these songs we looked at them, we were like, "Oh wow, yeah, these are our favorites too." And then there were some that we had never heard of before. Yeah, but each song meant something very special to whoever submitted it, and we're hoping that after you hear these playlists, that it's going to mean something to you. So playlists. Let's talk about playlists. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I really wasn't that familiar with a playlist on YouTube. But I have not been familiar with most of YouTube <laughs> and what it means and how to get there. But a playlist is basically just a way to organize songs. So we have put together some playlists on the Stow Good mm -hmm. channel. But how do you get to the Stow Good channel, you might ask? Well, first you go on to YouTube, then type in Stow Good. And you'll see a, a circle that has our faces in it. Click on that, and then that will take you directly to the Stow Good YouTube channel. And then when you're on the channel, right at the top, there's a little header, and it says Home uh, Videos Playlist. Click on Playlist, and that will give you not only our Stow Good playlist with all our original material, but it will also show you, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see all the great songs that have been submitted by our Stow Good community. Right, so yeah, they'll say songs that touched our hearts by the Stow Good community, or mm -hmm. songs that have made us happy by the Stow Good community. Or songs of grief and loss lovingly submitted by the Stow Good community. I think there's also songs of hope and inspiration, songs we grew up with, mm -hmm. favorite spiritual songs, and inspirational songs. Yeah, it's all right there. So today, we just want to take a peek at a few of those songs, and, uh, and we'd also like to share some of the reasons that people had for submitting them. But we're going to do this again, so be sure and submit your song, and please include a, a little story about why, you know, what this song means to you, and we might share it next time when we make a video. Just like we're going to share these. So we're going to start with Donna Laughlin. Donna, thank you so much for sharing this song. Um, Donna says, this song is lifting me up as I grieve the loss of my husband. Thank you, sweetie. Um, the song is called Wanting Memories, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful a cappella song written by a Hawaiian artist named Kealii Reichel, R-E-I-C-H-E-L. And he is well known all, all over the world, it turns out. Um, also known for his work as an ambassador of Hawaiian culture to the rest of the world. And one of the lovely things about him and this song is it's a cappella. Mm. He does all, all of it a cappella. 
And then, of course, Layers is, it's amazing. I thought it was a group Yeah. when I first heard it. It's a group of one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that group that, that you like so much. Oh, uh, Pentatonix. I, I love them. Well, shall we put one of those in our playlist? Oh, yes, let's do. Yeah. All right, I'm not sure which one, but it will show up. Next is from Judy Summers. She says, one of my favorites is the prayer, especially when sung by Celine and Bocelli in duet. Mm. When I lost my youngest daughter to cancer, the words and the instrumentation were, and still are, uplifting. That is a beautiful duet. Mm -hmm. I actually tried to sing it one time um, for a gig. It, I think we had just started. Yeah? Yeah, I was down in South Carolina, and let me tell you, I have a new appreciation of Celine <laughs> and her range. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous song and a beautiful yeah. duet. Yeah, and, and then we have our sweet friend Axel Becker. Oh, hi, Axel. Hi. <laughs> Axel is, uh, lives in Germany, although most of the time, pre-COVID, he lived on cruise ships mm -hmm. where he made beautiful music for the passengers. Of course, there ain't much cruising not, happening at this right moment. Now. Um, but this is what Axel shared with us, that it's a French-Canadian song called Je Serai La, and it's a parent singing to a child. And he said in English it would translate to something like, I am there, or I will be there. And he shared with us and allowed us to share with you that he said, oh, he, Axel is a singer and songwriter, and he translated this song into German so that he could sing it as well. And we will have a link that we will explain to you momentarily where you can find this link that you can, um, you can actually listen to Axel singing this song. And he said he made this version to self-parent myself and it works. Mm. He said, I actually do feel cared for like a child would when it hears go your own way, just be yourself, nothing else needed. If, it if at times you have trouble finding yourself, I am here for you. Mm. Isn't that so lovely? It's, and it's such a beautiful song. It is. Next up is from Deblio54. Hi, <laughs> Deb. Um, she said her song, um, her, one of her favorite songs is In My Life by the Beatles. Mm. Looking back over the good, the bad, and the ugly, I can say I am grateful for all of it because I would not be who or where I am now without it. I would make one change to the last lyric. Boy, aren't you brave. <laughs> because of all that's happened and all the folks that have come and gone, my lyric would be, in my life, I love me more. I love that. I think that's sweet, Deb. I do too. And I'm sure John and Paul would not mind. I that was a John song, wasn't it? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th those are the, s the four songs that we um, decided to share with you today. And so, will you explain where people can find the links to, um, for example, the Hawaiian song um, and Axel's song? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're looking at the video, got that box. Right below the video, you will see a description of this video. And right underneath the description, it says, Chamor. <laughs> if you are French, yes. Chamor. Or does it say, Show more? Oh. <laughs> you're well, maybe. So <laughs> maybe it does. Click on Chamor. Chamor. And there you will see links to all kinds of things, but you'll see links to all the playlists that we're talking about today and to the special song with Axel Becker, right? Yes. And then at the very bottom, you'll see Cholet. <laughs> or Cholet. <laughs> I did not know you were so continental. No, maybe. <laughs> okay, so, so this episode is about sharing the power of music, the power of a song in our lives. And I would love to share a quote by Martin Luther from many, many eons ago. Okay. May I? Yes. He said this, a person who does not regard music 
as a marvelous creation of God must be a clod hopper indeed and does not deserve to be called a human being. <laughs> he should be permitted to hear nothing but the braying of asses and the grunting of hogs. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> and there you have it. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you haven't already, or even if you have, leave us a song in the comment section. Tell us why it's been important in your life. And we hope wherever you are that music is your constant companion because it's so good for your soul, helps you feel good in this kind of turbulent time. And uh, check out these playlists right here. We've got a couple of them listed for you. And until next time, be well, be safe. We love you. We do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.